the heart when do a twitch. A little twitch. Yeah. But prey drive is quiet. You picture a cat running from a dog. The dog will never be barking in prey. It's quiet. It's running after the cat. It's quiet. The cat goes to the corner and hisses. Now it's a young dog. It doesn't have the wherewithal to kill the cat. It doesn't know how to kill the cat. It's now called locked in conflict. It wants prey drive to happen again. It will bark trying to get the cat to what? Move. It's, you can picture that. It's trying to get the cat to move. The cat jumps the fence. The dog jumps his back and prey drive. So I'm in the corner and I kind of hiss at the dog. And she barks. Now I move a little. Does that make sense? No, but they're not just stand still and look over. Yes, but that's many sessions. But if we do like that, we like don't get used to it. No, because I wean them off of it. Okay. First, you get no a barking. Yeah, but no difference than this. If I have a 12-month-old human child, they're looking at their spaghetti. If you're 25 years old doing that, there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? So when you're young, you experiment a little. Okay. But when you're older, this is the fork. Yeah. You eat proper, you know what I mean? So when they're young, you have to let them figure out the barking, the spaghetti, the prey drive. Okay. Does that make sense? That's going to be your job. So with, with Cinder, what happens, Roger's going to um, actually trial, trial with the dog. I'm going to do the track obedience and he wants to handle the dog for protection. But anyways, she's pretty good in the other two phases. But anyways... Um, she has to learn defense, fight, and prey drive. But she's so aware. Yes, but she has to learn this. So when she came in on me, she did not look around. Mm-hmm. I'm doing tiny things. You'll see it. Play the video slow motion of the first two bites with me. Show the video with him with the first two bites. You can see the movements are different. This is how we all start. Right, right, right. When I start, I was exactly the same as him. But then you learn like, how do I keep this dog engaged with the least amount of motion as possible? In the beginning, my motions were very big. Now you notice as you get older, it's saving energy. So now my motions are what? Very Small. tiny. Very small. Right. In fact, you'll have to go slow motion to even see some. They're tiny. But and the a dog picks up on them. Oh, yeah. But a did dog... you notice that she didn't even go to you? Well, with me, anyways, on the leash when I sent her. She didn't even go to you. She ran around and sniffed. Yeah, she was sniffing people. Like, she was tired. The same too. thing with him. And she just has that capability of, of just waking out. out. Yeah, just gone. You know, you can be working with her and go, oh, that's really nice parking. Oh, there's a good bite. All of a sudden, it's just like somebody flipped the switch. But no, but no, what it is, is she really is just starting to understand the help is really fun. Before, before she didn't understand the game at His all. His job and my job are to like, lose every time. Mm -hmm. So if, if a dog is here and I ever win, I really screwed up. So I'm here. The next Pushing session she's up, here, yeah. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I push them more and more but I have to lose and that's the same with karma like oh, like karma karma is no, um all dogs if any of my helpers win you will hear me blow a gasket do you want some stuff to clean that wound up no it's good you got some kind of no it's not it's not even a deep wound it's just it's an old wound that I've been fighting for a month and a half and 